What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Jetty Live, and I'm live in effect, man. Today, I'm about to be reacting to Dave Chappelle, 3 a.m. in the ghetto. Now, this is my first reaction to Dave Chappelle on my channel, man. Uh, I've been checking out Bill Burr, Gabriel Iglesias, and now I'm doing Dave Chappelle comedy special on the channel, man. It's like it's going to be hilarious, uh, 3 a.m. in the ghetto. It's probably going to be a very, very funny story, so I wanted to definitely check this out. I'm very interested by the title. That's why I picked this video to react to. So, yeah, man, we're just going to get right into it, though. Before we do, man, hit the like button for me already. If you didn't do so, comment. And when you're done watching this video, click that red button so you can subscribe to the channel, man. We're on the road to 1K. Uh, thank you all for helping me reach over 900 subscribers. Really appreciate it. And, yeah, we almost there. And, yeah, man, we're just going to see Jay Chappelle, bro. Jay Chappelle is hilarious, man. He had a Jay Chappelle show. He's doing his comedy specials. Still doing his thing, bro. Real legend, man. Real GOAT. But yeah, we're going to get into it. Also, I'll put the original link down below in the description so I can check out the video for y'all selves as well. But without further ado, man, let's just get right on to it. Let's see what Dave Chappelle talking about. 3 a.m. in the ghetto. I know this is going to be funny. 3, 2, 1. It's too much pressure. That's my problem. I can't, I can't handle pressure. Sometimes pressure make me talk different. I'm serious. You ever have like that social pressure? You ever talk to somebody who's fake and they make you fake? Like that kind of you're like, hey, how you doing? You're like, fine, how are you? And you're like, oh. yeah, yeah. I don't even talk like that. <laughs> I've done that before. I get sick of that shit. I've done that before. I do. It just makes me sick. Sometimes I'll talk crazy just to make myself feel better. You ever do that? Just start talking like crazy. Have you ever heard this voice? Man. <laughs> that's, that's how bad guys used to talk in the 40s. In the old days. See, I, used, I talk like that. Not all the time, but if somebody put the pressure on me, fuck it, I gotta, I gotta cut loose. <laughs> if the police pull me over, I, I'll talk crazy. Son, son. Do you know why we pulled you over? <laughs> nah, because I'm black, see? That's right. Nah. <laughs> I do it. Okay. It's not illegal to talk like that. Damn crazy, bro. How do they know I don't talk like that every day? Stop talking like that. Stop <laughs> talking like white copper. Nah. <laughs> That's how I talk, see? <laughs> he a fool. You got to make life interesting like that because the shit is flimsy. Life is flimsy. You, you think you're going to live forever. You ain't not going to live forever. It's dangerous <laughs> out here. We know what's going on. I travel now, you know. I used to think D.C. had the roughest ghettos in the country. Nah, nigga, uh-uh. <laughs> I have seen some shit now. <laughs> oh, there's some rough, rough areas outside of D.C. Yeah, everybody should go to the ghetto. I was taken to the ghetto one time. That's the worst. When you get taken and you're not expecting to go. <laughs> you know, usually you want to know when you're going to the ghetto, like, I'm going to see some wild shit. I got to prepare myself. I'm going to see something crazy. When you're taking, it's different. Take I had it a limousine to driver. It was after a show. It was late at night. It was like 3 in the morning. I had a limousine driver. He was a nice guy talking to me and shit. Oh, hey, where you from, dog? D.C.? Word? That's a rough city, man. <laughs> and the cell phone started ringing. Hold on one second. Hello? Oh, what's up, nigga? What? What the fuck? Slow down. What? What the fuck? No! 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 Fuck that! Nigga, fuck it! I'm on my way! <laughs> oh my god. Hey. I gotta make a stop real quick. Oh no. At 3 o'clock in the morning. I didn't know he was taking me to the ghetto at first. I started looking out the window. I was like, what the fuck? Gun store, gun store, liquor store, gun store. Where the fuck are you taking me? <laughs> That's how you know you go into the ghetto when you <laughs> Oh man. Like where my grandma stay at. Like bro in Chicago, bro. Like that's how you know you go into like the hood of the ghetto when you see yeah, when you see gun store, liquor store, uh convenience store. <laughs> oh stop, you taking him straight to the ghetto. It don't look good. He didn't say shit. <laughs> Just pulled oh, up in front cool. of an old rickety building that looked like a project. Now, i never been there before. I'm not sure if it was a project, but it certainly you had all the symptoms of a project. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
a fucking crackhead ran this way. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then another one jumped out of a tree and shit. <laughs> oh, chill on, bro. <laughs> and I said, I'll be right back. And left me. Took the keys with him and just left me. What? At 3 o'clock in the morning, in front of a project, in a fucking limousine. <laughs> this was not good. Yeah, that don't sound like, man, good. I gotta look around and see if I can see some landmarks and figure out where I'm at. Might have to escape on foot. <laughs> now, this is when I knew I was in a bad neighborhood. You only see this in the worst neighborhoods. Remember, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I look out the window. It was a fucking baby standing on a corner. Oh my God. <laughs> Be a fool, bro. And the baby, the baby didn't even look scared. He was just standing there. <laughs> I mean, it made me sad. It made me sad, really. Good. You know, because I wanted to help the baby. <laughs> Oh, I don't corner. trust you either. I'm sorry. Click. <laughs> Click. The old baby on the corner trick, eh? I'm not gonna fall for that shit. Where's this limousine driver? You know, I stopped feeling bad. As time goes by, I start feeling worse. Like, man, what is wrong with me? What the hell's wrong? I'm scared of a baby. <laughs> man, this baby could be in trouble. He might need my help. I gotta do something. But I wasn't going to get out the car. Oh. I'm serious, man. I just cracked the window a little bit. He's stupid. There's a whole limousine. I can roll it down. Oh. He's stupid. Hey, baby. Oh. Baby, go home, man. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. What the fuck are you doing up? The baby said, I'm selling weed, nigga. I said, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> wow. I'm sure I had to buy two bags from the car. Let me get two. Let me get two. Oh, car. my God. <laughs> Got back in the car and rolled me a joint, man. So, that shit was scary, man. Every once in a while, like a crackhead would come up to the car and and look in the window, it was like Jurassic Park, and should he be looking on the car? <laughs> hey, get out of here, Cracky. Oh my God. That baby was still standing there, man. That's what then I started feeling bad again. Yeah, weed make you feel guilty sometimes, you know. Man, what is wrong with me, man? I have just bought weed from, a, from an infant. <laughs> I can't condone this kind of behavior. What am I thinking? I can't let the fear ruin my morals. Got to do something. Oh! Hey, baby! Stop selling weed, all right? You got your whole life ahead of you. He said, fuck you, nigga, I got kids to feed. I was like, God, dang. So the baby got kids to feed. <laughs> Sam. And just at that very moment, when the crackhead was running across the street and got hit by a car. Oh. I know it was a hit and run. The police did it. Oh. That's all right, they sprinkled some crack on him and got back up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, man. Yo. That was hilarious, man. That was 3 a.m. in the ghetto by Dave Chappelle, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> He said he saw a baby on the corner selling weed. <laughs> he said he bought a bag from him. Oh my God, that was a funny story. Yo, I love when comedians can do really good storytelling, bro. I love that, bro. It really showcased their true talent, bro. That's very talented. I did stand-up comedy before. I did a couple, um, nah, I, I did like about three times. And like, I got better like my storytelling and stuff like that. But Dave Chappelle's storytelling, bro, like, he just got me interested throughout the whole story, bro. Like, it was really funny. He had some funny parts. But, like, just the way he, like, told it and the way his, like, 
Um, voice expressions, how he was acting it out, just made it 10 times funnier, bro. Dave Chappelle is really a GOAT, really funny, man. He really does his comedy stuff, man. That was hilarious. If you liked it, man, hit the like button for me. Also, comment down below, uh, did you guys like it? Uh, also, comment down below, more comedy specials you think I would like. That's fire, that's funny. I'll check them out for sure. But uh, that's pretty much it, man. Uh, more videos on the way, Daily Fire contest. Y'all stay tuned for more. I appreciate every single last one of y'all that been with me throughout the whole journey, man. We're going to get there. We're going to get to the top, you feel me? But thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Peace. Yeah.